myself like I never before. So if you're having a bad hair day or just can't be bothered doing your hair like me, pretty much 90% of the time, wig is the answer. So I'm just applying a kind of wig hairnet thing first and then I'm going straight into the makeup. Makeup today I'm going in with one of my favorite drugstore long lasting foundations. So for brows I'm doing them a little bit darker than I normally do so I'm actually using a gel eyeliner as my brow product today which is amazing because it makes them just last so long and they do not budge at all. So straight on to eyeshadows, I'm doing a shade that is just a little bit darker than my natural skin color that has almost an orangey hue to it and I'm just applying this all over my lid. This is going to be my lid color and it's a nice matte shade as well. Moving on with my transition color. So this is probably the same depth as the lid color, but this is more of a cooler taupey undertone to it. So I'm applying this with the same brush in my crease and just really softening it out. Then for some even more warmth, I'm feeling these warm shades. I'm going in with this beautiful shade just on like the outer corner of my crease or just even above my crease that little bit more just to bring some more depth and warmth to the product. And then lastly, going in with a matte nude shade onto my brow bone just to blend it all out and give me a very subtle highlight. So onto eyeliner, there is no real dramatic liner in this look, but it's still really important to add some liner, especially if your lashes are really sparse like mine. So I'm using the same black gel liner I used on my eyebrows and basically just pressing it in really thinly onto my top lash line and basically in between my lashes to fill in any sparse areas. Time for eyelashes! Now we are actually doing two pairs of the same eyelashes. So going in with the first pair, obviously letting them dry, and then going in with the second pair on top. I'm blending that all in together with some black liquid liner just to really softly hide any bands. We don't want a massive liner, just very, very fine, but it will just help melt everything together. So moving on to my under eye concealer. I'm going in with this concealer just to really buff and start to blend away my dark circles. I'm using this uh, knockoff beauty blender <laughs> and just really lightly starting to pat the product into my skin and blend it out at the same time. So I felt my brows needed a little bit more of a pop so I'm going in with this product and using the lighter shade as you can see it's light oh yeah and I'm basically applying that under my brows going in with a concealer brush and blending it all away for a nice smooth but beautiful popping result. So now my lashes are well and truly dry. I'm applying generous coats of black mascara to my top and also my lower lash line. So on to contouring slash bronzing. I've been loving using like a lighter color bronzer prior to doing my actual powder contouring because I just feel it softens everything out so much more, it makes it look more natural and gives you that beautiful bronze glow. Then I'm going in with my contouring shade, which is a darker version of the shade and just crispening everything up and just making it look a little bit more intense. And it just really helps to bring it all together. To set everything in place, I'm using this amazing, amazing powder that is, I think, going to become my holy grail. I can't believe I've only just started using it, but oh my gosh. Anyway, it's amazing. I'm basically just patting it into my skin using more of a stiffer brush to get a nice concentration of product, but that way I think as well it makes the product work more for you. You're not just settling it on top of your skin, you're actually working it into your skin and it just looks amazing. For an extra juicy pout, I'm using my Candy Lips Lip Plumper. This is one of the original ones and you guys can check out the review that I have on this on my channel. Just click the I and it will take you to that video. Alright, now it is time for the wig! So this is my amazing Irresistible Me wig. I have actually coloured this myself because I wanted something a little bit different. So I'm basically applying the wig, then I'm going in with some spirit gum and I'm actually going to be gluing the sides of the wig down just to make it look a little bit more realistic and make it last that little bit better. As well, I do have a discount code, not only for the Irresistible Me wigs, but for the whole of their site. Just use the code Irresistible Jade to save some money. Yeah. So lastly, for my lip color today, I'm going in with a Kylie product. I'm lining up my lips and filling them in with this shade. I actually felt that it was too light, so then I went back in with one of their other shades and intermixed it just to make it look a little bit more deeper. And I actually really love the result. 
And there you have it, my Kylie Jenner inspired transformation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos twice a week. Love you guys. Bye. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to be telling you the truth about animal testing in the cosmetic industry. Most of you won't like what I'm about to tell you because most of your favorite brands are still to this day involved with torturing and in most cases, killing animals.